Hi, Alice Gentilly here to take you on a quick tour of the many possibilities for virtual art shows. The first one we'll look at is ThingLink, which is what I used for my spring 2020 art show. A ThingLink account is just $35 a year. Hello, this is Mrs. Gentilly welcoming you to the 2020 virtual art show. ThingLink is a platform where you add a background photo and enable targets, which when clicked on, bring the viewer to whatever you've linked them to. In my case, viewers were linked to my blog for posts about projects and to other sharing platforms such as Artsonia, Adobe Spark Page, and YouTube. Our teacher and friend, Don Massey, also used ThingLink. So, I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> Don used Adobe Spark page galleries of student art as his landing pages. He grouped his artwork by grade level and shared the platform with two other art teachers, creating a collaborative school-wide art show. Speaking of Adobe Spark page, I created an art show to celebrate the first semester this year, although all I really did was to set up a Padlet and develop guidelines for each student to create their own artist showcase which they created on Adobe Spark page. Once complete, they simply added their link to our Padlet and the show was ready. The first entry on the Padlet is my Spark page on which I provide links to project descriptions. My art department colleagues at the high school created a fantastic art show by utilizing Google Slides for each student and posting them together on a Google Site art show. With older students, if you provide a template, they can personalize their individual slides. My colleagues created tabs at the top of the Google site for each of their class groupings, making this show easy to view and navigate. Another option for those of you who use Artsonia is the Artsonia Gallery Slideshow. This is a new product for Artsonia with very few options. Here's another art teacher and friend. Hi, I'm Laura Brother. You can use iMovie to create dynamic videos of student work, including images, video, and even green screen. Adding images one at a time can be daunting, but there are other ways to compile them. Animoto is an easy way to compile a large amount of photos. It costs $96 annually, but if you use it a lot for sharing artwork and personal videos, it pays off. You can compile images, video, soundtrack, and text in just a few moments. This show was put together by Mandy Morrison using Apple Clips, which is another really intuitive platform for students to use to make um, compilation videos. And then you can always put them in iMovie if you want to enhance them. This art show was made with Microsoft Sway, which is brand new to me. Because we are a one-to-one -one iPad district, I don't use many Microsoft products. But I gotta say, this is a pretty sweet page and it looks like you can manipulate the way the images fall as well as add video. Thanks to Melissa Wilson for sharing this. Frank Juarez put this show together for the Mail Art Gallery show of work by art educators. He's using Arts Steps, which utilizes virtual reality to make it seem like you're in an actual gallery. The Wisconsin Art Education Association used Arts Steps as well to create their membership show. What I like about it is you feel like you're in the space thanks to the VR, but also if you click on a photo, you get some beautiful details about the artwork. I signed up for an account just to see, and it appears to be free to use this platform. Wayland High School used Kunst Matrix, another VR enhanced platform for creating their immersive art show. It has a professional look and showcases the artwork beautifully. Although the basic plan is free, it doesn't give you much. Those creating school galleries would be better off at about 30 a month, which is a little pricey. Another VR enhanced platform is eMaze, used by Millis High School for their engaging art show. Although the monthly fee options start at $13, eMaze offers a one month only plan for $39. I bet that's very popular in June. Thank you for being here today. That was fast. Uh, there is a supplemental handout that goes with this presentation. So keep an eye out for that for website addresses and other details. Thank you again.